Welcome back to the Dance Academy YouTube channel, dancers. Watch your back, because this week we're taking a closer look at the back-breaking teaching methods, all right, I'll stop, of the star principal dancer turned ballet teacher, Saskia Duncan. Saskia's claim to fame is that she was the youngest ever principal dancer to enter into the company. In season two, she comes to visit the National Academy of Dance, which is where she trained as a dancer. Um, excuse me, are you Saskia Duncan? I hope so. I At first, Saskia is seemingly amazing. very supportive, um, even inviting Tara to come and watch her backstage. Oh. But when Tara is watching her perform, disaster strikes. Program? Give us some room, please. Step back. Take some big breaths. Come on, it'll be all right. Unable to dance after her injury, Saskia steps up as a guest teacher at the National Academy, giving all the students the task of learning a solo. Second year, I'd like you to welcome Saskia Duncan. I'm sure most of you know her by reputation as being the company's youngest ever principal dancer. Hi, guys and I've decided to let you out of class for the rest of the day so you can start thinking about your solos. Take it from me, this competition can be career defining. It now, isn't until Tara shows her like solo that we start to see another side of Saskia. I'm gonna be dancing Victoria from The Red Shoes. Well, that's one I'm definitely familiar with. I can't wait to see what you've done with it. It was kind of, well, it was kind of a mess, wasn't it? I mean, full marks for attempting something so demanding, but wow. I'm gonna need a minute to shake that one out of my head. Now, Saskia's words might sound like tough love, but she starts getting meaner and targeting Tara with harsh words and criticisms that are hard to see as anything other than intentional, as here. she doesn't offer anything Just in the way of corrections. Sweetie, I'm sorry you're upset. You don't have the depth or the life experiences yet to take on the big emotional ones. I don't know where Ben is. Do you think I could take turns with Abigail and work with Christian? Mm, you're a little too tall for him, sweetie. I'm done, fifth. Tara, what was that? Instead of scurrying off behind the shed, you should be practicing. Tara's out of time. Harder beret. Tara's missed a step. Will someone else please mess up so I can stop picking on her? Sweetie, some people might tell you that your feet are amazing, but they're actually not that strong. Tara, yikes. I'm sorry. I know you don't want to hear that right now. No, that's um. Was there anything specific that I could work on? I wish I could pinpoint something, but it was just an overall general impression. Tara starts to realise that Saskia isn't on her side, and she worries about how this will affect her exams. She brings the issue to Saskia herself, and when she refuses to engage with her, she takes it to Miss Rain. <laughs> so Christian's a no-show. What did you do this time? It's personal. Saskia, have I done anything to offend you? Why would you ask that? Well, someone said they thought maybe you had a problem with me just because you've been giving me a hard time in class. Tara, I give you a hard time in class because you need it. You know it's a difficult body to work with. Imagine how embarrassing it'd be for both of us if the star of first year failed. Hmm? Did you see it? The twitch? Hmm. She really doesn't rate you. Is 
there a problem, Tara? M Miss Rain, could I talk to you outside? This is an exam. Whatever you have to say, you can say to the panel. Please, it's private. I don't think Saskia is going to mark me fairly. She's been repeatedly awful to me. Stop! And... I asked Saskia to be tough on you, to push you. And she says you've been more focused on boyfriends than her class. That, that's not true. Saskia's targeting comes to a head during rehearsals for the Prix de Fontaine competition, where she seemingly sabotages Tara, choosing a boring solo for her. So I've got classwork today, coaching tomorrow. Oh, Tara, I've made an executive decision. You'll be doing prelude lace or feeds, not the red shoes. Got the Academy's reputation to think about? Grace and Tara fight back, setting up a trap to prove to Miss Rain that right Saskia size? is picking really on Tara. This is a right size plug-in. Mm, you kids should really get out more. Sammy and I aren't actually here. Deja vu. I've been working really hard on it in my spare time and all I want is just one chance to change your mind. Thrill me. What do you think? Everything I said last time still holds. Sweetie, I know you want this to work, but it just doesn't. I need more than that. The other teachers, they give really specific notes, but you often don't. I mean, I know you haven't been teaching long. Oh, so you're questioning my experience? N no, I'm, I'm trying to understand you better. All right. So what made you pick red shoes? Well, at first I was inspired by your version. But I also connect with the story. Do you? And what are you trying to convey? Victoria's pain, finding the love of her life and then choosing dance. In the end, performing while grieving. So you've experienced grief and heartbreak? Yes. No, you haven't. You're a child. All I see is a silly kid bouncing around, yet you're arrogant enough to think that you're an artist. I'm worried about you, Tara, because there are so many girls here that are more talented than you. What's gonna happen at the end of third year when you don't get a contract with the company? When you don't get a contract anywhere? I know this is your pretty little dream, but... You're never going to make it. You're not good enough. And you never will be. Grace leaks the video what online, happened? which finally forces Miss Rain to respond. Do you know how I found out about this? A board member rang me, wanting to know if the students were waging a war against the teachers. I had no idea what she was talking about. You did Saskia? Tara and I have had a long talk, and she knows how wrongly she acted. I shouldn't have done that to you, Saskia. It was... it was cowardly. I had no idea you were so sensitive. I've only ever tried to help you. Then I can trust that both of you will be able to put this behind you? Absolutely. Yes, Ms. The tensions between Saskia and Tara amp up, and Saskia and goes Ray. too far. I'd very much like to dance the red shoes in the pre, if that's okay with you. From what I saw, it looks promising. Well, guess we better get started, if that's okay with you. Sweetie, I know you have a problem with criticism, but if you can't maintain your turnout, your extensions will just have to be lower. I don't understand your correction, Saskia. It looks pretty turned out to me. That's because you're cheating your line and fishing your foot. To the bar. I'll show you. Arabesque. Do you have tight shoes and hip rotators? Looks pretty flexy to me, but what would I know? I know that's a bit embarrassing, but that's all you can control. I can control it higher. Okay. 
How's that? Fine, fantastic. And this? Never felt better. Oh, that, that, that's enough. Oh, I thought you were flexible. You want to go higher? No, 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 stop. Saskia. Are you teaching this class? <laughs> She's fine. My teachers do that to me all the time. You really need to concentrate on your rotation. Before the competition, Saskia secretly speaks to Abigail, trying to put her up against Tara, and we finally yeah. start to understand that Saskia's animosity to towards to her Tara. comes from feeling threatened. I'm really worried about her. Me too. The judges are going to annihilate her this afternoon. Look, I know that this is a lot to put on your shoulders, but I need at least one girl to get through to the nationals, and Grace is unpredictable. How well do you know the red shoes? In the pose and attitudes, focus on your upper body, okay? Because Tara's expressive. There's no point doing this if you're not going to be better than her. All semester, you've been entertainingly vocal about how crap she's at this solo. And that... I know why you hate her so much. I don't. I've got the academy to think about. Please. I've been there with Tara jealousy. I'm the youngest principal in the history of the company. I'm not jealous of anyone. <sighs> I knew she was good. I just never thought she was good enough to scare you. Excuse me. Understanding Saskia doesn't change the damage that she's done. And ultimately, it leads to tragedy for Tara. There's a fair bit of activity happening around the crack, which makes me think that the break happened recently. Uh, I've broken my back. I have no choice but to expel you from the academy. The board has agreed to allow Tara back into the academy, conditional on a good behaviour period. What about her? Saskia has denied that she did anything wrong and I don't have any evidence that she did. She broke my daughter's back. How much Mr evidence? Webster, I know this is a difficult situation. I'm trying to find a solution. They're trying to protect the academy's backside and a negligent, inexperienced teacher. Dad! I would love to come back to the Academy, provided that Saskia apologises for what she did to me. I am... I did nothing to you, Tara. Saskia? No, I can't just sit here and... It's ridiculous. This is just the next chapter in her personal grudge against me. I'm the one with the grudge. There is nothing I did in any class that I didn't experience when I was a student. Tara was just too weak to be... Saskia soon finds out how Tara's classmates feel about what she's done. This and her now chronic injury force her to make a decision. Good, Abigail. I think you can make that extension even better, though. Really? Maybe you could stretch it out for me. I dance like you. Excuse me? I'm not as good as you, but we dance the same way. I just, I never noticed it before. Whatever you say, Tara. I get it with Abigail. We're in the same year, we're always going to be competing, but... I wanted to be exactly like you. I never asked to be your hero, Tara. But you're a dancer, you know what it means. How could you want to take that away from me? Your injury wasn't my fault. And before that, you picked on me and belittled me. You made me wake up every day feeling sick about going to class. And then you... You tried to break what matters to me more than anything. Tara! Can we talk? I'll see you in the office. Miss Rain is going to tell you that I'm leaving. I'm going home to Perth to concentrate on my physio till my ankle gets better. And I told her that you and I, that I could have been better as your teacher. That's it? That's your apology? Just. 
Wait till you're my age. You know, when there are dancers coming up behind you, wanting your roles. And they're younger, healthier, more exciting. I would never do what you did. I love ballet, but I wouldn't let it destroy me. Tara. I love it too. Saskia learns a lot from her time teaching at the academy. It isn't until season three that we see her again, with her injury healed and back on stage. That's a bit unfair. Tara, Ben and Grace are chosen to fill in three slots in the corps de ballet, and Saskia seems to have turned a new leaf. I have no idea what inspired you to ignore this fundamental rule, except perhaps the chicken voices in your oh, head. Oh, give her a break. We were all new once. She'll be better next time. It doesn't take long for Saskia's selfishness to creep out. She doesn't get on well with her dance partner and starts trying to groom Ben for the position. How well do you know Act Two, Pas de Deux? Sorry. <laughs> Relax. And those lifts, totally different experience. I've never partnered like that, ever. Some dancers just click. I had a suspicion we might. Why? I'm a third year wannabe, and you're Saskia Duncan. So. You're not a wannabe, Ben. You're a student, and that's a good thing. You're like brand new clay. So you want to mould me? Saskia oh, starts oh, amping up her efforts, getting Ben closer ben, with the company's know. head. Oh. Hey, tonight after the gala, what about I take you out for dinner? It could be instructive for us to work on our connection outside the studio. Wow, you just went all deer in headlights. Oh, it just sounded for a second there that you were, you know, Asking me out? Was... Well, all the men in the company date younger dancers. Why shouldn't I? Um, because I'm me and you're you, and well, you went out with Hugo, and he's like the right age and a dance god. What am I, young, fresh me, just to make him jealous? <laughs> if that happened to be a byproduct, would it be such a heinous crime? But in the end, Ben chooses his own journey. <gasps> The last we see from Saskia, she has been let go from the company when the new artistic director takes over. In a surprise move, Tara asks her for help with her final third year solo. Saskia is as blunt and full of tough love as ever, but she does genuinely seem to want Tara to succeed this time. You dance it better than anyone and know how to work around an injury. I, I guess I was wondering if maybe you'd help me Cheap. Have you considered doing a solo that's a little less intense? I've been dancing like 60 hours a week for three years. I want to be intense and dramatic. What about the long term though? You push yourself through the pain barrier day after day, year after year. Trust me, I don't recommend it. <laughs> if you don't want to help, then listen. A girl in my ear did Persephone for her audition. Look, I already know Persephone. <laughs> I did it before I even came to the academy. It's just, it's too easy. Technically, yes, but artistically, you could make it whatever you wanted it to be. Call it my magic place. <laughs> you must know where everything suddenly works and it's like the lights fade and it's just me and the music. Tara. Speaking from experience, those moments can be unreliable. They're also why I love dancing. That's fantastic. Love it all you like, but being a professional is about what you do on your worst night. When it's your hundredth performance, the orchestra's playing too fast, your costume falls off. You can't just stop and turn to the audience and say, sorry, no magic. So what, you just fake it? No. You trust that you've done your homework, that you've crafted your performance and infused meaning into every step. After a tough year, Saskia makes a decision. They teach you that if you suffer enough, it works out in the end. I think I'm going to retire. What? But any company in the world would take you in an instant. I'm just sick of starting each morning with coffee and a painkiller. I don't want to push myself so hard anymore. 
Anyway, Persephone. You need to tell the story with every step. I don't know about you dancers, but I don't think I would want Saskia as a teacher. But hopefully she learned from her time at the Academy and won't repeat the same mistakes in the future. Anyway, that's all for our look into Saskia Duncan. We hope you enjoyed it. What topic should we do a video on next? Leave a comment down below and we'll catch you next week on the Dance Academy YouTube channel.